Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Spring City, Pennsylvania, although this video is actually going to bring us out to a whole bunch of different towns because today I'm doing something a little bit different, something I actually have not done in a good long while. We're going to check out some libraries for hopefully some used movies. It's been, like I said, a while since I've been in a library looking for some used movies. I haven't been to this one in forever. I haven't been to any of the ones around my hometown in a good long while. So I have no idea what to expect. This could be a complete bust. I might find nothing. Libraries are very hit or miss when it comes to used movies. Sometimes you find some amazing deals, sometimes not so much. So who knows what it is. I'll possibly find today, but I'm kind of excited about this because like I said, it's been a while. Maybe these places over the last like couple of years since I've done this have completely restocked and there's just tons of movies. Or maybe there's nothing. Power of positivity. We're gonna find something today. Oh yeah, and since we are going into libraries, we're probably gonna have to be very, very quiet while we're inside there. But um, well, it's a library, so that's kind of to be expected. And this is why it pays to ask, because when I walked into the library, I did not see a used book section. No used books anywhere. Turns out, apparently now, they do a used book sale at the beginning of the spring every year. So no books out to be bought, no DVDs out to be bought, no Blu-rays out to be bought. But when I asked, they said, well, actually, we have all that used stuff in back. So come with us. And now I'm in a, a back storage room, and they have tons of DVDs here, all kinds of movies, all kinds of season box sets. There's a lot of stuff to look through. And I'm pretty excited to, to get looking through some of this stuff. It looks like a whole bunch of stuff I already have, although Seasons of Combat, I actually don't have any of these. I'm thinking about maybe possibly picking these up. I think she said they were like $2 a piece. I don't know if that counts for season sets as well, but if these Seasons of Combat are only $2 a piece, these would be worth picking up if they're in good condition. Well, actually for two bucks, even not in good condition. Eh, the discs look a little scratched, but again, for, for $2 a piece, those might actually be worth picking up. So, all right, they they have stuff here and I, I might actually buy some of this. All right, so maybe I got a little overexcited. Not a ton of movies to look through, but a decent amount of movies to look through here at the library. A couple of boxes full and I did actually find a few things I wanted to pick up. So I think I'm gonna grab this Modern Marvels Baseball Parks. I don't have that, that's pretty awesome. Also, I think for the store, I'm gonna grab Gumby the Gumby Show. This actually has the Gumby still inside it. And I believe this is actually so brand new factory sealed. Doesn't look like it's ever been opened. So I'm thinking the disc is probably minty in that. And then I'm going to grab the complete series of combat, all five seasons. I've actually never seen this show. Discs are not 100% minty, but they're not terrible either. If, if those are $2 a piece, if they're, if they're more, I might end up passing on those. Cause again, it's a show I've just never seen and not a show I'm like super into or anything. So we'll see two bucks a piece. Definitely grabbing those. I think these are these are definitely gonna be $2 a piece. So, all right, again, I'm happy I asked. Like I said, not a, not a, like, not a, not a ton. I know I said a ton before, but not a, not a ton of stuff, but definitely some decent titles here. Again, like I said, I'm, I'm happy I asked because I'm, I'm probably picking those up. All right, so that was pretty awesome. Ended up grabbing everything I wanted to pick up. Grabbed the Combat, grabbed the uh, Modern Marvels, and I grabbed the Gumby all at $2 a piece. Actually, when I got to the counter, she was like, actually, you know what? I was, I was thinking about it, just whatever kind of donation you want to make, you can have everything for whatever donation you want. So I could have gotten these for cheaper, but I was like, well, no, you, you told me $2 a piece. I'm happy with, with $2 each. So for $14 total, picked up all this stuff. Like I said, always pays to ask. I did not see any movies out anywhere. I thought maybe it was going to be a bust inside there, not going to find anything. Thought maybe they just didn't have any movies at all anymore inside the library. No, turns out again, they were all in back waiting to come out to this spring. I will definitely be back, by the way, this spring to see what also, what also, I can't even think right now, I'm too excited, what also they have to put out. But anyway, again, $14 for all this stuff. Yeah, that was a, that was a good deal. Good way to start things off. Hopefully the rest of the libraries are, are this good. All right, so the next stop on our library tour is the Royersford Free Public Library. And for those of you who have been watching for a while now, you may remember this was the library that had a whole bunch of Blu-rays and DVDs and box sets and whatnot inside a bunch of boxes in the office, those were, for whatever reason, never actually put out. I came here week after week, month after month, and asked about them. They kept telling me, no, we still can't put them out yet. And then eventually the boxes seemed to have disappeared. So they were never put out. Nothing was ever sold out of those boxes. I have no idea where those boxes ended up, but they're no longer here. However, they do usually have used movies here, or at least they used to have used movies here. Hopefully they still do. I don't know. We're going to find out. Again, it's it's all a crapshoot. You never know when it comes to a library. But again, power of positivity. We're going to find something good here too. 
and already things are pretty much a bust. This is it for the used books. This little tiny section right here of free used books. They no longer have a used book section here in this library. I um, I was greeted with a, a with a friendly hello, and I said, "Oh, used books still in still in back, right? They used to have a whole back room. That whole the whole room over here was nothing but used books and used movies and just all used stuff in that one room." And um, she was like, oh, no, we actually don't have a used book section anymore. Apparently, after the pandemic, they had like an influx of books, but nobody really coming into the library to buy anything. And they just sort of ran out of room for all the books. Who knew? I, I didn't ask what happened to them all. But supposedly, um, no longer a used book section other than what's right up front there. So that's kind of a kind of a bummer. Hopefully, they, they get a nice used book section back. I guess the, um, the head librarian is supposedly retiring in the beginning of January. And they said they might have a, a sale going on then. So I'll have to come back here in January to see what's going on. But hopefully the new head librarian, maybe she'll or he'll build a new, a new used book section. I have no idea, but all right. Well, I mean, hey, we, we, we did good at our first library. If that's all I find today, I'm pretty happy. That was a pretty good haul. I was stuff for $14 at two bucks a piece. That was awesome. But this one is a bust. We still have one more to go to. We do technically still have two more libraries we could go to one of them's a bit of a drive though it's a, it's a little bit further away than i would kind of that i kind of anticipated on going today we could go to that one but the good news is the next library we're going to is the one that i usually hit the biggest at i usually find some really good deals here i mean knock on knock on wood we'll see if that happens today for all i know they may they may no longer have a used book section that's that's actually two libraries now we've been to that no longer have used book sections it's a very noisy truck. All right, let's go to the next library. Let's see what we can find. Hopefully, ho hopefully, hopefully, we'll find some good deals there. All right, so possibly the last stop on our library tour is the Perkyoman Valley Library here in, well, Perkyoman Valley. It has been a long time since I've last been in this library as well, but usually I find some pretty good things in here. People seem to donate a lot of really interesting movies at this uh, library. Again, with that being said, though, I'm, I'm probably jinxing myself. They're probably going to tell me they no longer have a, a used movie, used book section anymore. Or maybe I'm going to walk in here and find some amazing things. Like I said, it's a, it's a library. You just never know. But if this is anything like previous visits out to this library, I'm going to find some good stuff. I'm, again, I'm keeping the power of positivity alive. I'm going to find some good stuff. Okay, well, obviously it was very, very quiet in there. Nobody making any sounds whatsoever. In fact, I may have been the only person actually inside the library. So didn't want to be very loud in there, but um, I ended up getting all of these for only $1. Not $1 a piece, $1 total. That was actually pretty amazing. So picked up the um, Star Wars trilogy bonus material because this does have a special uh, documentary on it that's only available on this disc. I already have this in my own collection, but grabbing this for the store because that is actually pretty awesome. Something called Dream Keeper. I have no idea. A Hallmark movie I've never heard of, but this actually goes for a little bit online. So definitely wanted to grab that for the store. Not something I'm grabbing for me, but again, for the store, why not pick that up 
also for this story, because it also goes for a little bit of money, is Quincy M.E., the original crime scene investigator. I've never seen this. Seasons one and two. Again, a show I've never actually seen before, but goes for a little bit of money online as well. I'm not grabbing this for me, grabbing that for the store. But however, this is for me, Into the West. Never heard of Into the West. This is a show, a mini series. I've never heard of it. If you've heard of this, leave a comment down below. TNT, DreamWorks, Steven Spielberg looks interesting. So for $1 total, a quarter a piece, that is amazing. I am so happy I went inside there. Like I said, usually find some pretty good stuff in there. The, the movie section wasn't quite what it usually is. Usually there's a ton of DVDs, Blu-rays, even CDs inside that store. This time around, not so much. The lady actually did warn me when I asked about DVDs when I went in. She goes, we, we don't really have very many. So I was a little concerned, but... Again, at a, at a quarter a piece, a dollar total for all of this. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty awesome. All right, guys, so I think that is going to do it for our movie hunting library tour, but I am pretty happy with my finds today. $15 total for everything I picked up. That is awesome. This is why I love thrifting at libraries. This is why I need to come out to libraries more often, though, unfortunately, maybe not my local libraries. The first one, like I said, apparently doesn't really have a used section anymore. They just do a, a once a year sale, which I am going to hit up when they do do that. Um, my my local other local library doesn't have used movies at all anymore, but apparently maybe they possibly they're going to put some stuff out next month. Well, again, we'll see about that. And this local library does have stuff, not a ton of stuff, but they did have stuff as well. Just awesome. Amazing. Uh, there, there is still one more library we could go to. I'm tempted, but it's like a 20, 25 minute drive away. I don't really feel like driving all the way out there. Plus, I was just out there last month and didn't really find very much. So I think we're going to just skip that library today because I am satisfied with my finds. So $15 total for all those box sets and seasons and movies and whatnot. That is pretty amazing. If you have local libraries nearby, I highly recommend stopping into them, checking them out, asking if they have movies because a lot of times they do and you can find some pretty fantastic deals. I need to start stopping into libraries more often when I come across them. But all right, guys, with that, we are done. So as always, guys, thank you for this weird video. Thank you for watching this weird video where we went out to a couple of libraries. Again, I'm happy with it. We found some cool stuff today. It was a weird it was a weird video, but an awesome video of some epic finds. So um, again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, click that notification bell. If you're still watching, please do that. Click the notification bell. You have to do that nowadays. Apparently, just because you subscribe to me doesn't mean anything to YouTube anymore. A lot of people aren't being notified. I have new videos out. Even though I do a new one every single day, people aren't getting notified. So please click that little bell. It'll help me out. It'll help you out as well. So definitely do that. And uh, check down below for links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and the Cinema Sickness store. It came from Cinema Sickness. Also check down below for my second channel, Retro Rest Stop, for fun daily adventures. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.